Welcome back to Devices Startup channel again guys and today we will learn how to set up and install Netgear AC1200 EX5000 Wi-Fi range extender plus other very useful and important information related to this extender like where to plug it after the setup, how to reset it if in case it's not working, how to log in into it after the setup and most importantly how to save yourself from getting scammed by fake Netgear technicians. Yes, you heard it right. So let's get started. So guys, we can set this extender up via browser and via WPS method. So let's learn the browser setup first. Before that, you should be having a working internet on your router. Now plug the extender in the same room as the router, although after the setup, you can place the extender at the desired location. Grab your phone or computer next and go to its Wi-Fi list. There you will see a Netgear extender's default network name showing up as Netgear underscore EXT. You need to connect to this network. Once connected, open a browser and in the URL or address bar type myWiFiEXT.net and press enter. If that doesn't bring the Netgear's new extender setup page, then try myWiFiEXT.local or use 192.168.1.250 into the URL of your browser and hit enter to access the setup page. Also, be very sure to type this only into the address bar because if you type it into the search bar, then you might land upon third party websites who pose as Netgear technicians and will possibly scam you for hundreds of dollars. So be aware of that. We have made a complete dedicated video about how this scam works. Do watch it too in order to save yourself. Plus, do share it with your friends and family members who owns Netgear extenders too. Anyways, on the setup page, you will need to create your Netgear account and then follow the on-screen instructions. Also, it will ask you to select the network name that you want to extend. So there, you simply just need to select your router's Wi-Fi name or SSID and then type its password for confirmation. Next, click on Save Settings. Once the setup is complete, you will be able to see your extender's network name in your Wi-Fi list. By default, it comes up as your home network name underscore EXT at the end. In order to connect to it, you will also need to type the same password as your router. Also, if in future you would like to change your extender's network name or password, then we have made a video about it too on how to log in into Wi-Fi extender in order to make any changes after the setup. You can check that video out. The link is in the description. Now let's learn the second method to set up Netgear EX5000 Wi-Fi range extender that is via WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup. So in this setup too, make sure you have a working internet on the router plus extender should be plugged in in the same room as your router. Also wait until you have a solid green power LED on the extender to begin the setup. Now first press the WPS button on the extender. Now you will see a blinking WPS LED on the extender. Within 2 minutes, press the WPS button on your Wi-Fi router. A solid WPS LED on the extender will confirm a successful connection. Again you will be able to see the newly set up EX5000 Netgear extender network name in your Wi-Fi list. By default, it will show up as your home network name and then EXT at the end. Now in case the WPS setup isn't working, then it is very likely possible that the WPS is disabled on the router. You have to enable it first to set up the extender via WPS. It hardly takes 2 to 3 steps to enable the WPS on the router. We have made a video about it too. You can check it out. The link is in the description. Also in case none of this setup method works, then we recommend you to reset the Netgear EX5000 extender first. You can do that 
by holding a paper clip inside the reset hole of the extender for around 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall. Now try the setup again. Moreover, you can place the extender halfway between your router and the location with poor Wi-Fi signals. Try to place it in direct line of sight of router if possible. Also, you should avoid plugging it near microwaves, refrigerators, ACs, etc. I hope this video was useful for you all. If yes, then do show me your love and support by giving it a thumbs up. Plus, don't forget to subscribe the channel because we keep on bringing videos related to routers, printers, security cameras, Alexa and other devices which will be really helpful for you all. So, see you all in my next video. Till then, have a wonderful day.